uncle J 89. What's your favorite storyline of all time and why? Oh, wow. My favorite storyline of all time. I it, it pretty hard to say it's not flair for the gold. The way that Dusty promoted that, I mean, it really was genius. I mean, he had that thing laid out, and then with Harley. It, um, I also love the storyline. Actually, you know what? My favorite is the storyline that um, played out before my um, I, I had to think about that for a second. The storyline that played out between me and Shawn Michaels before I retired. That was a good one. No, yeah, right. it was it was phenomenal. And I got to wrestle Randy and everybody. I, you know, Steve, Steve Regal. Um, you know, and I, I, I forgot to mention all of them on my Hall of Fame speech because there was just so many. And I got when you when you face as many wonderful guys as I have wrestled and tough guys, good guys, bad guys, whatever. You know, I just tried to put everybody in in the speech. And I even forgot Roddy Piper. If you can imagine that. Um, how embarrassing that was that for me, but. Just if you look at my career now, it's like 50 years to look back at it now, and I, I still I still enjoy watching the show. I, I think the kids are doing a phenomenal job. Um, God, I'm just, the one thing I will say is I, I um, and this is not a question, but I'm, I, I hope that, um, and I, I mean, I, I have no idea, and I have no inclination as to whether or not it'll happen, but I think that if Ashley and Bianca Belair wrestle at WrestleMania, that it'll be as big as Austin and The Rock if they build it right. They are the two best athletes athletes ever that I've seen in my career, from Penny Banner to Kay Noble, that to ever be in the same uh, women's division. There are some other great workers, but for, for pure athletic ability, Bianca Blair and Ashley stand out. They, they they could be the two best athletes in the company. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. And both legitimate division one athletes with credentials. Jared wise friend of the show wants to know, Rick, if you could have one more match with one of these legends who've unfortunately passed on, who would it be? Wahoo McDaniel, black Jack Mulligan or Harley race. Oh, that's a tough one, man. I loved all three of those guys. Um, oh, God, I loved all three of them so much. It's hard to say. I, I'd have to say Harley because I, I just loved the uh, Ricky. <laughs> this is going to be our last match. Let's show these motherfuckers who we are and why we have been the NWA champions. Okay, kid. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See what he was. <laughs> Ricky. Fuck these kids. <laughs> <laughs> he used to look at Leon and go, fat boy, get up, fat man. <laughs> he used to say to Leon, to Vader, <laughs> he was too much, man. That's hilarious. God damn it! If you don't hit Vader back, I'm gonna beat this shit up. <laughs> what a fight that was! Oh, was it ever? <laughs> but I was afraid I was gonna really get beat up backstage by Harley if I didn't hit him back. <laughs> That's the exact same thing, Mick. He, he was that. screaming, "Have you hit that fat fucker back?" <laughs> uh, 